Hey guys, and welcome to another episode of Hoop, Hooper Reflections, a part of the Hoop Jack Podcast series. And we have a great episode today. We are going to be reflecting with a guy who has been on the show before, um, Mr. Sam Ubzuno. Get him in here real quick. Great guy. I love talking. His backstory was he went to Erie and and trying to, you know, make it through Columbia Green Community College and the Overseas Combine Red Bull 3 on 3 tournament and trying to make a name for himself through that. So it's great to have him back on the show. I sent him the invite, so let's see if he got it. Okay. So hopefully you guys have still been tuning into the show, whether it's through the Hooper Reflections or whether it's through the podcast itself. And I'm excited to see that the show is doing the best that it can. I can't wait to still continue for it to grow. And um, so we're trying to see if this is going to work. A little technical difficulty. How's it going, man? Hey, what's good? How are you doing? Good, good. Great. Um, so it's great to have you back on the show. Um, it's kind of great to kind of put a name to the face so <laughs> and everything like that. So um, since the last time we talked, how have you been? How's basketball going? How's your personal oh. life going? Everything going good? job working security somewhere and then as far as basketball i've just been attending different showcases combines um i was recently um a draftee in the cb uh, cvbl draft the cabo Verde basketball league um still waiting to see if i got uh, drafted or not probably not but if i didn't i still have other opportunities on the table and i recently got a few offers to play in greece um and to also go out to the euro summer league in july and september and then September, I have two workouts and tryouts for the um, the Dallas Mavericks G League team, the Texas Legends. Okay, so you're still, you're still trying to get that basketball kind of wheel going, but it's still yeah. good to hear that you have gotten the opportunities to play in different leagues, showcase your talents, because it, it was good to – because when we last talked, you did the Overseas Combine and the yeah. Red Bull 3. Um and like you said, you've done more with other leagues, build the tryouts with the G League teams. Um, it's good to hear that it's still kind of – you're pushing it. You're making the drive happen. Oh, yeah. And I still I still follow I still follow your brand, Raw and Uncut. You know, I like – how's, how's – I like to see you, and you're wearing it right now. I like it. Um, so how's I – see, I do see a lot of people rocking Raw and Uncut, and I like kind of – you know, it's like a diamond. It's Raw, it's Uncut. It's anything can happen to it, but um, how's how's that kind of message getting out there as well? Um, it's been it's been going well. I've I've been blessed to have you know friends and family to be able to see the vision and support it as well. So that's always a huge thing. And then I've also been blessed to have former teammates or just former coworkers or people I've just made great connections with to try to you know help spread the word and help you know market my brand for me. And then I've also been blessed and very fortunate to have you as well. You know, on the podcast back in February. You know, promote the brand that did wonders for me and it was it was it's actually nice to kind of have guys like you and everyone that we've had on the show like i'm really I, all i want to try to do for you guys is get your story out there because everyone has a different story for how they made it everyone has a different story for where it takes them as long as they know that the end of the road is trying to find something that they love and what they want to do is you know makes them feel good and has, makes a difference and i think with your brand and also the work ethic that you've put in i can't imagine teams passing you up on that opportunity to give you that chance to go overseas go to the g league anything like that and thanks again for coming on the show like a lot of people could have said no like a lot of people do say no but it's also the rare occasions that you get a yes and i also feel like on my end i want to make a difference well I I'm going to push your guys' uh, movement forward. I'm so, 
giving me that opportunity to kind of tell your story and I'm I'm definitely appreciative of you and um that opportunity because uh since we spoke since February I think the 17th when we spoke right. on, on the podcast uh I want to start by saying I was very fortunate and blessed to have you know come on the podcast and thank you for allowing me to tell my story you know it kind of just changed people's perception of me as a man and as a basketball player for the for the better and then you know coming on here I'm I'm very blessed and happy to be here again and then you know coming on here and then you promoting my brand actually helped you know me get my message out it helped me you know spread more content create better content so i'm just very grateful for it all it's an, it's no problem man i think at the end of the day we all kind of just need to help each other with what we have and you know still being able to because i also think with this it gives people an insight of oh i only thought one way of this person i'm thought another way of this person where you're not getting the full story that I'm trying to just find because, you know, there's more to people than what they might know. And yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. And I, that's, that's always been big to me because, you know, they say perception is your reality, but sometimes, you know, what we see sometimes isn't always necessarily the truth. So it's just, you know, that podcast is just, you know, it just makes people see me in a different light. And I'm, I'm, I'm very thankful and appreciative for that. So, have you so like you said you were talking with um you know playing overseas that opportunity with the mavericks have you are there any other plans for you know personal wise business wise to try to and you know work out plans leading up to those to the times that you you have the workouts yeah i got a lot on my plate um as far as business and personal um i do plan on taking a few vacations and a few trips some of them by myself, some of them with a few, you know, family members or friends, and then obviously a few with my girlfriend. Um, as far as business, I just plan on trying to, you know, move Ron and Cup forward in terms of, you know, just um, either getting more models to help support my brand or just getting other athletes to help, you know, model for my brand, something like that, and just getting a better marketing team put in place. And I do have a question here. Um, what is your dream from Coop? What what's your dream team to kind of play for? Who would you love to play for, whether in the NBA or even in general? Um, honestly, my dream team to play for, I would have to say, probably the Los Angeles Lakers. <laughs> Any particular reason why? Um. I guess it just holds more sense to me, uh, more sent, uh, sentiment to me. I've always been a big fan of Magic Johnson, a big fan of Kareem, a big fan of Shaq, Kobe Bryant. Oh, when he was still alive and still playing, you know, he was one of my favorite players. I actually modeled my mid-range game after him, so that's kind of huge. And then you know, LeBron James, my favorite player. So it's just, and then plus, you know, having the opportunity to destroy the Celtics that would, you know, <laughs> that would make me yeah. that would make me happy. Right. And that's always, you know, the, the dream is alive, you know, it can still happen. And oh, it's yeah. you know, and even getting the opportunity to play in the NBA in general, that's like a one, like it's, it's a chance. Oh, yeah. Everyone kind of wants to push it out. But I think if you believe that you can do it, I full have full faith in anybody that can do it. Oh, yeah. You know, our dream is not, our job isn't to like push you down. It's to keep, uplifting motivate you guys because you guys have that potential you guys can do it okay. you know? and so we talked about your uh your personal brand ron uh ron Anka, courtesy of boosted biz and you still have a work with do you still work with uh what was it greens plus title sport and open sponsorship uh yes yes title sport I'm about to get into doing more partnerships, partnerships with them. And then Greens Plus, I'm still partnering with them. I still have more stuff that's going to be sent to me. And then Open Sponsorship, uh, yes, I'm still very well connected with them. And then any op any uh, companies you, you've also reached out to that you would you would want to work with in the future? Uh, yes, I've reached out to a few. Uh, some of them being Insomnia Cookies, uh, Chipotle, just local restaurants and, you know, and bakeries. I've reached out also to a few... Um, to a few uh, sports marketing agencies to help well to help push that forward, and it's, it's going well. We're still kind of like in the talks and trying to negotiate everything, but it's it's going well so far. Well, Sam, I 
can't believe it's been what months almost it's been a while yeah. since we talked but it's great to see that you know you're on the up and up you're continuing to grow and i'm glad that we can kind of get your message and your brand out there because i mean at the end of the day that's what we want to do we want to tell another side of the person that a lot of people may not know and show that they're working hard to what they want to achieve so thank you for giving us the opportunity for that and i wish you the best of luck man oh no problem thank you you have a great weekend you too